All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, hope this video finds you well. What we're going to go into here today is how to find your swing plane for your actual body type and why I think this is super important. Um, before we get into that, if you haven't, please click on that link below. Check out the last video that I did here. Also, I've got a free crash course on understanding impact. Would love to have you part of that. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So when we look at different body types and what I mean by body types in general, we're talking more about the height of a player. Well, the height of the player a lot of times is going to dictate the plane in which they swing and what they actually have access to. And we can even relate it to and say the ball flight that we want to hit is going to have a big influence on what we're going to be doing with the swing plane and the directional movements of the arm and the backswing and how that relates to the plane that we're on. The other characteristic that I think we've all got to take into account right here is what is our actual wingspan in relation to our height. These are things that we as players have to know so that we can actually build out proper swing plane. I get this all the time where uh, somebody comes out and they work with me and they say they want to have a they want to have a backswing that looks like Dustin Johnson or Justin Thomas and they want to have really high hands and then I look at the player and they're five foot seven five foot eight and they've got a short wingspan and the problem with that is if we've got shorter arms if we've got shorter arms and we have a shorter body height well the depth of our hands if we get them high is going to be right here and then in order for us to actually get this golf club back to the inside we're going to have to reroute it right there. So I would say this, when we're looking at designing an arm swing to create a plane for the player, we need to design it around height. So me, as an example, I'm six foot one. So for me, I'm six foot one. I don't mind cutting the golf ball. So for me, if I get my hands more up this direction, well, the plane of this is now going to want to work back down this way, and that gives me access a lot of times to the outside part of the golf ball. But now in the same sense, if I want to draw it, that's not going to really be the swing plane that I actually want to be on. Now, let's take somebody who's shorter. If we take somebody who's shorter and they're trying to swing with higher hands, well, if they get here and we have any sort of turn, this golf club is going to want to pitch so far out this direction and we're probably going to be swiping across it. And so this is why I think it's super important right here for us to tailor this towards our body type to create the plane that we want. So if we start off with shorter players right here, a shorter player is probably going to need to have an arm movement and a swing plane that is a little bit lower and a little bit deeper. So like if I shortened up my arm length here, for me to create enough depth right here, I'm not gonna have my arms and my hands crazy, crazy, crazy high. Now, it's not me saying that I want you to stand up with your spine and flatten that out. We still want the arms arcing around what the spine is doing right here. But again, we need to design it for what the body type is and for what the height of the player is and the length of the arms. Now, if we go into more of a let's say more of a standard player that's like five foot nine, something like that, we're probably gonna wanna see the lead arm a little bit more on shoulder line. And if they've got normal length arms, we're gonna typically see the handle depth right here sit more in line with where the trail heel is. So if we're shorter and we have shorter arms right here, we're gonna have to feel the club works a little bit lower and a little bit more in. If you're more medium, 5'9"-ish, we're going to be able to get the arms more up on shoulder line. And then again, for someone like me, 6'1", or even somebody who's as tall as like Dustin Johnson, we can get the arms a little bit higher, and we still have access to turn to be able to create that depth. So that is one of the things I would really challenge each one of you is when you're out there and you're trying to build a swing plane that is going to be suitable for what your body type is, make sure you design it around your body type and what your arm length is. Now, what I'm going to show you here from a drill perspective, once you figure out what that is, this is a pretty cool way of doing it. So what I've got here is I've got two alignment sticks that are duct taped together. So what I'm going to do with this one right in here is I'm going to rest this on my shoulder. It's going to sit just outside my shoulder line. 
It'll be about a fist outside of it, and it's going to be sitting on the height you'll see right here, on the actual height of where my shoulder line is, a fist away. So what I can do right here, if I set my club down, I'll rest this on my shoulder, and I'm going to push this into the ground right here. So when that right there gets pushed into the ground, now you can see when I'm back here, this would be where I would want to see the golf club and my arms work to create more of a neutral, possibly even a draw pattern. Now for us to design this to where we can hit the golf ball a little bit straighter, I like setting this up on both sides of the arc. So now on here, I'm going to do the same type of thing. So this is going to basically be sitting on my shoulder line, a fist away. I'm going to walk up into it here. I'm going to put this one in the ground right here. And now I've basically got a runway here for my arms and my golf club to be able to work on. Now, I wouldn't say to just jump right in and start ripping golf balls doing this. I think the first thing right here is once you design and you set up what your swing plane actually is, let's actually start to feel out where it is in motion. So we'd be here, take it away, work the lead arm up it, work it back down it, feel to impact through, and then work the trail arm around it. And what I would say right here is we're playing the game basically of operation to see if we can actually make swings where we're not going to be hitting these alignment sticks. So I'd be in here, work it back, work it through. So that was a good feel right there. Work it back, work it through. And so this right here is allowing the arms to work more around the spine and it's not going to allow us as players either to get too crazy linear backwards and forwards. And it's going to help us maintain our head center of access so that the arms can actually work around us. So once we do that, we'll grab a ball. I would recommend teeing this up just so that you're able to hit in the same spot. Otherwise, setting up these two alignment sticks every single time you hit a golf ball can be a little bit harder. So we'll give it a go. So I'm going to set up right in here. I'm going to feel my backswing once, work it down to impact, work it through. So this first one I'm going to do is going to be a little bit slower, just to make sure I can get this done right. So I'm going to go in here, feel it once, work it back, work it through impact, work it around, and then we'll go. And there would be more of what that look would be right there and that to me was an absolutely perfect dead straight golf ball there so start off slower with this type of drill you can work this up in speed really really easily once we gain the feel and we gain control of what our actual swing plane is for our body type so hope this helps out hope this gets you to understand what your swing plane needs to be based on what your height is based on what your arm length is. If you have any questions for me on this, please leave those down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Appreciate all your guys' support. We'll see you next time.